All right, Viper here, and uh, Tekken 7 has a new uh, Tekken 7 has a new arcade trailer for the for the arcade release. And here we go. Let's watch. I already watched it a couple times, but here we go again. Oh, play, 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 play. <laughs> The volcano is out. Check this out, this is fucking awesome. It's going out to the fight here and then. Gives you this classic smirk. Notice they both have an electric uppercut? That's new. I wonder if Kazoo is going to get an electric uppercut. I hope that happens. Do you notice how he, he dodged that like when Jin attacks and all that stuff in the beginning? The introduction? What a strat, man. Nice reverse hook. Here comes the stone head. Isn't that awesome? Oh, yeah. This is Kasumi. That was in Tekken 2. That thing there was in the floor in Tekken 2. It's like they've been playing this for ages. It's crazy. Third eye. Devil. That's always been there. If you look at the very first Tekken Tag intro, that was in it. Ooh, cut the nose of the triangle. <laughs> Jack and Seven! I'm glad they got rid of the final battle thing too. We gotta watch it a couple of times. <laughs> I can just watch it once. This is where we go. The Seven's. Father. <laughs> Back right kick. Back left punch. And down forward, down, uh, toward, down, forward, left kick. What was that flying kick? Yeah. Toward, toward, left punch plus right punch. Stone head. Kasumi is a character we haven't seen played yet. I wonder what, what, what she's going to be, play like. Third Eye. There's an enemy called Three Times Three Eyes. It's kind of interesting too. Up back, left punch, right punch. Left punch, right punch. <laughs> I'm trying to hit that back, turn him down for him. That looks fucking awesome. Go back, let's go back, let's go back. Do it again, do it again, do it again. All right, here we go, here we go. This is the arcade intro. Generally, the arcade intros are short. Uh, Tekken 4 had a short arcade intro as well. And uh, this one here is one for the record book. That's for sure, it's freaking beautiful. It's like it's like the very first Tekken again. Almost. It's almost like they're going back to that. It's cool. See electric? See they both got electric? Ooh. It's cool, it's like the actual Tekken moves. See how he dodges? If Jin 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 and Kazuya do that, they usually duck each other's like they sway out of the way of each other's move. He actually stopped kind of slipped there too from that set. Boom! Spin kick. That's like his rising left kick, that spin kick there. It's cool.
cool. It's like they got the actual moves from the game. It's very good. So now we know more about Tech. We know that there's going to be a Lucky Chloe. There's going to be a Shaheen Arabic character with a sword. He'll be... I wonder if he's going to use the sword similar to Yoshimitsu style kind of thing. I don't know if it'd be like another weapon kind of based character. Uh, Kunimitsu, Yoshimitsu, and uh, the Shaheen. They're going to be weapon based characters. Uh, Lucky Chloe is kind of like a hybrid character. Uh, Claudio is almost a Miguel. Uh, with, with a funky glowing hand thing. Uh, Katarina is a, a kicking character, similar to uh, Haurang and Bag Dusan. So we got, we, we know more about the game now. And the arcade release is coming. Arcade release is coming out soon. Uh, it's looking good. And this this here, look at the graphics. This is beautiful. The way the flowers and all that stuff. Oh, another thing that's kind of funny about this. This fight, shit, this fight scene, this fight scene is very similar to the fight scene in this movie here, I find. It's got similarities to it, like the, the volcano in the background, because he's standing there all pissed off like it's got some similarities to this fight here, this fight here. Uh, yeah. See that one with the uppercut? Right there? See that? Yeah. So yeah, the Tekken VH, I got the VHS version. So I'll turn it back, I go. And that, that, that Kasumi's name, that was in the floor in Tekken 2. It's always been there. But we never seen the character in until now. Well, we've seen a slight picture of her in this, this movie as well, actually. I really, I really hope that is not the end of Heiachi, though. Because Heiachi, it's just... Like, uh, when they when they stopped making Heiachi be the main boss character, it just seemed like something was lost in Tekken. They're, like, Heiachi is generally a boss character. Maybe not the final boss character, but a boss character. He should always be a boss character. He should be, like, the boss character before you fight the next boss character. Like, Heiachi before Jinpachi, or... Heiachi Jinpachi versus Azazel, or something like that. I really hope the Tekken 7, Tekken 6, Tekken 7 story is like, I hope they make it some like comparable to Mortal Kombat 9 and Dead or Alive 5, the scenario campaigns in the Tekken 6, like details. And, and stories for each character, not just the main guys, not just Heiachi and Kazuya, I mean, I mean like, other background characters, Law's story. I hope they make that interesting too. Make it deep. Make it deep. We love, I love the deepness in Tekken. The P Jack or Jack character, the freaking Alyssa's character, Lars story. I hope they're all included. I was like, that, that was kind of a limitation with this movie here, is that they only focus on Kazuya, Heiachi, and Jin, right? But it'd be nice if they they focus a, like the character is very the Tekken is very vast character selection, so the the rest of the character should be included with the story, not just like background noise kind of thing. It'd be neat to have the law law Paul story develop further, you know? The uh, Steve Fox, they're like their friends and all that stuff, right? So what else? It'll be interesting to see what other characters are released uh, that they, they let us know are in the game and all that stuff. Um, yeah, Tekken 7 is just looking damn sharp. And, uh, and I'm not watching the English version, you probably noticed that. 
fuck the English version. I'd rather hear the Japanese voices for these guys. These guys are characters are Japanese. I don't want to hear them talk in English. Uh, if you want to have an option to switch like English selection during the game, that's fine. But I'd much prefer it be the Japanese. Each language, you got your Spanish people talking Spanish, you got your Koreans talking Korean, you got your Chinese talking Chinese, and you got your Americans talking English, British talking English, your French people talking French, you know. Yeah, it's just, it's looking beautiful, though. Look at that. Ding, block, boom, bam, spin kick, boom, block, grab. <laughs> What's the matter, Kazuya? This can't be all you got. Stand up! <laughs> Stay back! This is family business. It's <laughs> uh, from the movie. As she, I noticed that she's got anime kind of eyes too, like her, her eyes are big and the look, she looks fairly young there too, I must say. Sure looks like Kazuya is going to win this, that's for sure. I think it's also kind of showing that Harada is kind of thinking of like letting the rest of the people, like the rest of the company take kind of control of the, of the, of the series kind of thing. So, uh, it seems to be, you know, but I still, I really don't want to see Hirachi go in the game. Yeah, that's, that's uh, it's bound to happen sooner or later. Though. He's going out in style, that's for sure. He'll be memorable. He'll be memorable for sure in this game. You can feel it. It's like it's just got that epic sense to it. See, they both got electrics. I wonder. I hope Kazuya gets an electric uppercut. At least like. Not just his right punch one. Crunch. See, Jin would have ducked that. Yeah, <laughs> it's quite the vlog. Boom! Ah! Friend up, this can't be all you got. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this is the last play. I'll stop it here. 13 minutes is pretty good. A back left punch, right punch. King of Iron Fist, Iron Fist Tournament 7. I'm, this is cool because I've been there since the very first one. Peace out. <laughs>